Ah, uh, Celeste. Celeste is one of my favorite games, and I'm sure many of you had the same question I did when I first booted up the game. Celeste? Is that the name of the protagonist? And I'm sure many of you still don't know the answer to that question, which is why I am here to say no! The protagonist of the game is Mountain. Uh, I'm Clarence, protagonist of this video, by the way. Anyway, in this video, I'm just going to be talking about my Celeste playthrough. But first and foremost, before everything, an intro and background about Celeste. Now, Celeste takes place in the mythical land of Canada, and I also made Mountain look like Rousey from Deltarune, you know, just because I wanted to. Uh, Celeste is a game about something like how everybody has to climb a metaphorical mountain and overcome their I issues in their lives. <laughs> I took that directly from a YouTube comment. Or or it's probably actually about trans among us. I don't know. I skipped a lot of cutscenes in this game. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, hey, what's that? What's that over there? Is that a transition to the first level? Uh, damn right it is. Oh boy, oh gee, this mountain looks like it doesn't have any weird black magic shit going on. It'd be just per the perfect mountain to climb to prove to myself that I can do things or whatever. Mountain said to herself, completely clueless that the mountain did indeed have some weird black magic shit going on. What an idiot, she didn't even play Celeste. This is why you should spend all day every day playing video games so you don't end up in situations like this. Anyway, uh, now that the lore is out of the way that I just made up, I would probably cut the prologue out of the video because it's boring as hell, but something actually, well, mildly funny happened. I still might cut it out in post though, I don't know. Now, okay, I didn't skip uh, this first cutscene to see if, uh, you know, character portraits in dialogue for Mountain were changed, along with the skin. Uh, it was also funny to to see Rousey called Granny a crazy old bat and to seek help lady. So that's a plus of not skipping the cutscene. Shortly after that, however, right at the bridge scene, I died. Yep, I died in the prologue, but I bet it's because I didn't skip the cutscene, honestly. I was extra careful the second time around because I have at least some sense of pattern recognition. Sometimes, at least. Fucking didn't skip that dash cutscene either. Run is completely invalid and I will be shot after this video ends. Uh, in game, I mean. Okay, so in this video I'm basically only gonna talk about what I deem noteworthy. And uh, the first thing of note to happen in this level was me deliberately going into the room that Thea was in before immediately leaving. I mean, I collected all the strawberries in the level so far, but that's not really noteworthy. I am a hypocrite. In the room directly above Theo, I forgot the bounce pad that launches you into the spikes as existed, as I always do. I left this room through the good old exit through the floor, and then I talked to Theo, making my previous ignoring of him invalid, and then I talked to him a second time, and then a third. I guess this time I'm listening to the rule of threes? Well, I talked to him. A fourth time, of course. And then twice more. Theo said YOLO though, so it's probably worth it. Oh, okay, I threw myself into a pit of spikes immediately after leaving the room, so it probably wasn't worth it. Uh, and then immediately after that I started dashing randomly? I have no idea why. Afterwards, I grabbed the crystal heart after messing around with it a little bit, of course. Collected the B side and completed the level with all of the strawberries and 33 deaths. Here is a montage of my deaths and also me getting the strawberries I decided. So after level 1, I obviously began level 2, and before that I'd like to make a quick disclaimer. 
After this level, the name changes to Rousey 2 from its original Rousey. This is because I wanted to find an Among Us skin after thinking of that joke in the intro. I didn't find the Among Us skin, but I did find the 2020 US presidential election and I wanted to play it. I finished the entire game before getting to the fourth room and it wasn't really that funny. And I also didn't realize how hard the level would be or how long it would take, so I never finished the level. 1000 likes and I'll do it on stream or whatever, or however this works. Anyway, back to the actual video, yeah? The first thing of note is actually right away, I didn't get the crystal heart. I must have forgotten it existed, I guess. The next semi-interesting thing that happened was in the room right before the mirror. I foregore that there was a strawberry in this room until I got onto the platform and couldn't go back. I immediately got super depressed. I got over it after 5 seconds though, so everything is alright. I uh, didn't skip the cutscene in the mirror room, I think it was because I wanted to see if Bountain had a custom sprite as well, but I don't actually remember. I bet I'm gonna die in the next room. Surprisingly, I was wrong. I didn't die in the next room. So I immediately went back to the room with the strawberry I missed, died once on the way there, and three times on the way back. And the best part about those three deaths? It was in the room AFTER THE MIRROR ROOM. I DID die in the next room. Hell yeah, you owe me 10 bucks. After that, I collected the B-side before getting at least most of the strawberries in this section. Shortly after that, I remembered the crystal heart exists, so I got that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, I am a god gamer. I didn't skip the bound in cutscene. I'm totally dying in this room or the next room. I died immediately, man, you guys are really unlucky, that's another 10 bucks. After I died, I decided it was time to play Ring Around the Rosy with Bountain for a few seconds. It was fun, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Wow, I also died in the next room too? Wow, <laughs> you guys are really bad at betting. No, hold on, I died like 4 times in that room. The rest of the dream sequence was pretty standard. I got the other strawberries, didn't skip the cutscene again, and woke up. I th think my laptop battery was running low or something because I rushed to the end of the level, not talking to Theo or even getting the strawberry, and got to the end, again not skipping the cutscene. I finished the level with 17 out of 18 strawberries and 27 deaths. Surprisingly, I, I died more in the first level than the second. Here's a death in strawberry mont. Oh, I guess I want to go get the strawberry. Anyway, 18 out of 18 strawberries, 27 deaths, 0 Theos talked to, and 1 cutscene skipped. Okay, first things first, fuck this level. Second things second, I actually nearly completed this level on this save file, but apparently OBS wasn't recording the right game or something. So I got all the way to the elevator shaft and then realized I wasn't recording, so I had to restart the level. The first semi-noteworthy thing that happened this level is that I skipped the first cutscene with Mr. Osh Oshiro near the end of the cutscene, I think. I don't remember if it was the end or not. Actually, I'm gonna go check real quick, I think. I skipped the cutscene about 12 dialogue boxes from the end, so I guess I skipped it about halfway through the cutscene. Also, going back to that save file made me realize something. I forgot to get the very first strawberry in this level. Anyway, after giving Mr. Oshiro a mental breakdown or something, I don't know, man, I skipped the cutscene. I refused to console him and immediately went to go clean up slash read some books. 
I, again, skipped another Roshiro cutscene because I wanted to. It was probably gonna say something I already knew anyway, like how I'm God, or how this video has been taking months to make purely because I've been putting off scripting and then reading the script too. Anyway, I went to go clean up slash look through some of the boxes. Did you know that there were 12 human fingers in one of them? I bet you didn't, because I just made that up. When I bashed my head into the button that cleans up all the boxes, I thought it would count as a cutscene so, so muscle memory kicked in and before I could read it properly. I mean, it's fine, I was only sent back to the beginning of the room, I just like being dramatic. Anyway, uh, skipped Oshiro again, who's probably just spitting more fact, like how Clarence Gooseman is going to be on live on Twitch whenever the fuck he feels like it, because he has no schedule. Anyway, I went to go do the laundry, and in this save file, I remember that I never met Theo yet, so naturally I skipped a cutscene as fast as humanly possible. In the next room, I saw that Theo vented. Um, hello, why has nobody talked about this? Green is super sus. Anyway, venting proves to be faster than I am because I suck at this game and Theo gets to the next room before I do, but that's mainly because he isn't affected by my time warping abilities. I did the same thing I did with the box room. I tried to skip the cut, well, quote, cutscene, but just died. After that, I skipped an actual cutscene, which cheered me up a whole bunch. And now we're back to the elevator shaft. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if I restarted the chapter here? I decided not to do that, and instead just went up the elevator shaft and talked to Theo after some debating in my mind. I didn't actually talk to Theo. I skipped this cutscene a little late, though. Wow, nothing noteworthy after that until I get the B-side? I read Miss Rochero's diary, or at least I tried to. I don't know how to read, it probably said I am super great or something. The next noteworthy thing to happen is when I got into the presidential suite, I noticed that I was in a cutscene, so I skipped that ASAP, and when I left the cutscene, Mr. Rochero was kneeling down, breathing very heavily. Probably had a heart attack or something. Anyway, I immediately ditched Mr. Roshiro because that's a major skill issue and it might be contagious. I noticed it was a tad drafty and then I noticed the massive fucking hole in the roof. It's a weird design choice, but hey, who am I to judge? I'm not an architect. So I left through the hole to get away from Mr. Roshiro and his contagious skill issue and I noticed that he showed me his chibi doki cosplay on the roof. I told him it was inaccurate because the head was way too small and he got really wee angry uwu. He tried to kill me a oh, well. Yeah, he accomplished his goal multiple times. It seemed the skill issue was, in fact, contagious. Other than my raging skill issue, there wasn't anything else of note in this level. I, of course, skipped the, skipped the end of the cutscene because I'm not a psycho. I got 22 out of 25 strawberries and died 222 times. 121 of those deaths were from the lost recording, and 16 of the strawberries were, too. Anyway, uh, another death of strawberry montage again, or whatever. Hi, it's, uh, 2.13 in the morning as I'm recording this. It's my fifth time trying. And, uh... For level 3 and beyond, I will not be- I will not be doing death montages because I've done a bunch. Like, that's a lot more than it looks like. Like, that's a, quite a bit. It's like a minute's worth of footage on its own. And then I still have all that to go, which is filled with deaths and strawberries, and then adding on other levels there would be so much more of this than the actual video, which I do not think would be fun. I will probably fully edit in all of the montages and stuff and add those as separate videos on their own, probably. But I will not be having them in the main video. So I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye-bye. The 
first major thing that happened this level was when I terrorized that crow, which happened immediately before I played in the pond for like five seconds. And then I didn't skip Granny's cutscene. God, I suck. The next thing of note after that is literally me getting the B-side and how much I struggled with that. But halfway through the level, I ended up returning to the map because I missed a strawberry. Wow, there is not much to comment on this level so far. After that, I got that strawberry and collected the crystal heart. Uh, wow, did this little really happen this chapter? Like, literally the next interesting thing is that I climbed up to where Theo comes from in, th in the end cutscene. Anyway, I also skipped said end cutscene. The f final uh, strawberry count is 28 out of 29 and I died 92 times. For some reason, I didn't skip the opening cutscene to this level. I do not know what I was thinking. Uh, Theo mentioned Instagram or something, I don't know why. Because despite the fact that I didn't skip the cutscene, I also wasn't paying attention to the cutscene. After entering the mirror temple, I found Theo's phone. Heh, <laughs> totally gonna turn this into a bomb or something. Something of note in this level is that apparently the recording kept freezing for some reason, which is really annoying. So I saw Theo in a mirror, but I must have been seeing things because when I pressed the good old skip cutscene button, nobody was there. Looking into the mirror, I saw that my little Rousey skin doesn't really work in reflections and it makes the skin go high in the mirror world. I uh, got lost in a maze that had three directions. That was very embarrassing. Luckily, a solid zero people will see this because I am a 20 subscriber Andy. In one of the big rooms in this level, I just did some strawberry hunting, which is what I did in every level, but I don't want this level to be quite as barren as the previous one. This strawberry was my hundredth strawberry on this save file. There are many hundred strawberries, but this one is mine. You can tell I am excited about this because immediately after I left the room, I started practicing my wave dashes because I wasn't very good at them yet. I also did not realize that this was my 100th strawberry on the save file, nor did I care. The next interesting thing was that I got the B-side and I didn't die even once. Coincidentally, the next mildly interesting thing that happened was that I got the crystal heart. Didn't get it the first try though. I died 13 times and like half of them were because I discovered that if you press the right trigger while pause, the pause menu will disappear so I played around with that for a little bit. In the tall room leading up to the sucky mirror or whatever the fuck it is, I decided to do some neutral wall jumps up the walls. There was no reason behind it, I just wanted to. After being sucked into the mirror, I played as a demon or something and I killed Mountain. Oh yeah. Man, it must have been just a dream because I woke up unscathed. What a rip-off 0 to 10 game. After jumping off a cliff or whatever, I met Bounton again. There was a lot of dialogue with Bounton, and for some reason I didn't skip any of it until the last bit of dialogue. Ah oh, great, the Walmart brand Kako Demons are back. Haha, <laughs> I juked this guy like fucking a bajillion times or something. So I think that mountain was meant to be like depressing here or something, but I honestly skipped the cutscene. I know that I could check to see if it's meant to be depressing or whatever, but then I might be wrong. And if I don't recheck the footage or go in game to check, then I can just say I'm right as always. Haha, <laughs> I think I got bored of playing Celeste because you can see when I click save and quit and also when I load back into the game. I remember stitching a few levels back together because I didn't beat them in one sitting. I will note when that happens, probably. <laughs> Theo, you're such a diamond in my eye, ah ha ha. Mountain probably said, I don't know man, I skipped the fucking cutscene. Haha, <laughs> I got all the circles and died, so bad. I attempted to ditch Theo in his crystal prison. I just can't have that energy around me. Sadly, it did not work. Theo tried to talk to me as I did cool parkour, but I ignored him. 
I killed the demon thingy, skill issue, and then I killed Theo. Wow, I am really good at killing things. Haha, ha, I see you. Wow, this is a really big eye. Like a really, really big eye. Oh yeah, I also uh, skipped that ending cutscene. And uh, I got 25 out of 31 strawberries and died 176 times. I'm gonna prove you wrong. Skip the opening cutscene. Oh yeah, I'm so cool. I use some really weird feathers to fly because it's cool and I decided I can do that now. I noticed there was a cutscene at the top of the feather so I used my expert skipping abilities to skip it. Apparently someone kicked a mountain in the dirt. Quite literally in this case. Probably. I don't know. I do know that we were before where we started? Dude, what the fuck? I'm gonna have to climb that again. OMG, they added cubes from Blender to Celeste. Ah, uh, Spikes, how I hate you so. Did the Crystal Heart, and because I'm a gamer, I did this all from memory. I mean, it took four minutes, but I did do it. I started that B-side parkour. I died so many fucking times. Did it, finally. Only took about five minutes. Didn't skip a cutscene, and here you can see more clearly that mountain's reflection is not where it's supposed to be. Yeah, bumpy. I skipped Granny's cutscene because I already knew that she was gonna say to subscribe. So I mean, really, I'm just saving her the trouble. I am going to become one with the demons. After beating the shit out of them, of course. Haha, <laughs> OBS froze here and then made me go back in time. I guess we're gonna go back to the demons again. The bumpies played ping pong with me. I was the ball. Bounton tried to talk to me, but I ignored her. Then she started laughing at me. Time to beat the shit out of her, I guess. Beat the shit out of her so good she got a second phase. She can move blocks now. Hate with the demons are over. They're my friends now. Being friends with demons has benefits. Now I can dash twice. A white orple. Skipped ending cutscene. I died 161 times and got no strawberries because there are none in this level. Hey, with this level, I didn't even die until the fourth room. This proves that I am, in fact, skilled. I completed this room and then I jumped off for some reason. I collected this section's gem before moving on to the next. I tried to skip the cutscene, but it wasn't a cutscene yet, so I died. Uh, nothing of note in this section. Wow, I really hope this isn't another Golden Ridge. I collected the B-side in this section. Collected this section's gem. Does this count as grave robbing? Nothing else of note happens in this section. I think I keep forgetting to mention it, I, that I skipped every cutscene in this level. I did skip every cutscene in this level. Collected the gem, once again proving how good I am at this game. Mm, fuck, the wind is back, damn it. So are the snowballs, fuck. Uh, completed this section and skipped the cutscene. Collected this section's gem. I'm gonna be so rich after this. That was the only notable thing in that section? Damn. Well, off to the next one in hopes of more content. Hey, flag 30, only like a bajillion more to go, I think. I don't know how to count. Got to flag 28, and because I hate the number 29, I skipped it. I didn't get the crystal heart because I missed two gems, but hey, those things are really annoying to find. Haha, <laughs> yoink. I flag 26, bye flag 26. E flag 25, only three more flags to go. Flag 17. This flag was hard. It was fun though. Oh yeah, flag four, one more, yeah. I noticed there was a pair of binoculars, but of course I didn't use them. I never used them, ever. E flag two, last flag, let's go. I did it. Whoa, I'm an expert mountain climber. I immediately skipped the cutscene because go away. I died 483 times and collected 27 out of 47 strawberries. And I do not want to make a death slash strawberry montage because I died so many times and that would take a while. So I won't. 
Okay, thanks for watching. If I get 50 likes, I'll make a video on Corn Farewell. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.